Welcome to the Round the League podcast. Hello everyone and welcome to the Round the League podcast. I'm your host Bryant and this is your podcast for everything sports. You can find this podcast on all of your favorite podcast platforms at the Round the League podcast and on YouTube at B-Man Film. So let's go ahead and get into it starting off with college football. After the final games of the regular season, we have now gotten into bowl season. So I'm going to go over a couple of the bowls that have already been played and a couple of them that are coming up. Um, Of course, on Wednesday on the 30th, we have um, number seven, Florida playing number six, Oklahoma. Uh, We did have Liberty beat number 12, Coastal Carolina yesterday in overtime at 37 to 34. We had Hawaii beat Houston 28 to 14. Georgia Southern put on a clinic against Louisiana Tech 38 to 3. UCF loses to BYU 30 23 to 49. Um, Appalachian State beats North Texas 56 to 28. Tulane loses to Nevada 27 to 38. Number 19 ranked Louisiana Lafayette beats um, the University of Texas at San Antonio 31 to 24. Western Kentucky loses to Georgia State, 21-39. to um, Aside from that, in the Cheez-It Bowl, haven't heard of that one before, um, we have Oklahoma ranked 21, playing Miami, um, ranked 18. Um, in the Alamo Bowl, we will have 20 Texas playing Colorado. And then getting into some New Year's Day Bowls, we will have the Peach Bowl, which is number 9 Georgia, playing number 8 Cincinnati. Then um, we have Auburn playing Northwestern. Um, Notre Dame playing Alabama, Clemson versus Ohio State. In the Fiesta Bowl, we will have number 25, Oregon, play number 10, Iowa State. In the Orange Bowl, number 5, Texas A&M, will play number 13, UNC. But that's about it for the bowl games. Unfortunately, we did learn that Utah running back Ty Jordan um, passed away on Christmas Day. Um, He was the offensive um, freshman of the year in the Pac-12. Very sad. And Michigan State quarterback, as of 15 minutes ago, has transferred to Northern Illinois. That's a big loss for uh, Michigan State there. Of course, he's been leading their program for, I think, like two years um, now. But that's about it for college football. Now moving into the NFL. In the NFL, without any college football, we've had a couple of games yesterday. And we are right in the middle of four straight days of NFL football games, um, of course, um, on uh, Christmas, the Vikings lost to the Saints 33-52. to That's the most points that the Vikings have given up since the 60s. Um, Alvin Kamara had an insane game rushing for six touchdowns. Um, he scored 52 fantasy points. Absolutely insanity for him. Um, then yesterday, the Buccaneers beat the Lions 47-7. The 49ers beat the Cardinals 20-17. to And um, last night, the Dolphins beat the Raiders 26 to 25. Insane game. Um, if you're on YouTube behind me, is the pandemonium at the end of that game. Um, so in the end of the game, um, the Raiders throw a deep touchdown. It was like 80 some yards or something like that. Um, to Nelson Aguilar, and they think that they've got it in the bag, but they miss the extra point. Then the Dolphins go down and they score their own touchdown. Um, This is all after Tua, after having an okay first half, they put in um, Ryan Fitzpatrick, um, but the um, Dolphins head coaches said multiple times that they are sticking with Tua um, as they try and make a push for the playoffs, Um, but as I was saying then, uh, the Dolphins score, then the Raiders get down right about three yards away, and Josh Jacobs um, sits down and um, doesn't go into the end zone um, and score. Um, to run more clock, um, and then they give the Dolphins back night. They give the Dolphins the ball back. Nineteen seconds left. Nineteen seconds left in their own territory, and they are down by six. Um, after the Raiders kicked and made a field goal there, um, after taking a delay game penalty, then the Dolphins um, drive down right. First play, Ryan Fitzpatrick drops back. He um, heaves the ball. He will first. He, so he's getting tackled right, and his face mask is ripped. So he's looking almost backwards. I'm sorry, you probably can't hear me. Let me move the mic. So he's looking almost backwards like this as he throws the ball completely blind. Um, He just chucks it up and um, somehow it is caught and somehow it is caught. And then on top of that, since his face mask was getting ripped to the side, they also get a 15-yard penalty added on. 
Um, then they go, which puts them in field goal range. Then they go um, try and throw a pass to get closer. That's incomplete with six seconds left. The Dolphins kick a field goal to win the game. Of course, one second left. They squib kick. Game over. Um, that was an insane game uh, from the Dolphins. Um, Tua did get benched, but he will be back next week. Now going into my picks, we have the Giants and the Ra- Giants and the Ravens. The Ravens are going to win that one by a lot. The Browns and the Jets. I'm going to go with the Browns. Of course, the Jets did get their first win last week, so good job for them. And shame on the LA Rams. Um, the Bears um, and the Jaguars. I'm going to pick the Bears. Falcons and Chiefs. I'm going to pick the Chiefs. Um, the Bengals and the Texans, I'm going to go with the Bengals. Um, Colts and Steelers, I'm going to go with the Steelers. Um, Panthers and Washington, I'm going to go with Washington. Broncos and Chargers, I'm going to go with Broncos. Um, the Rams and the Seahawks, going to go with the Seahawks. Eagles and Cowboys, I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Jalen Hurts has been looking very good, though, but um, I'm still going to pick the Cowboys. Um, Titans and Packers, I'm going to go with the Titans, Bills, and Patriots, I'm going to go with the Bills. Of course, a couple teams have now been eliminated. I know that uh, the Patriots were eliminated for the first time in a long time, I believe, and with that loss, the Raiders were eliminated. And speaking of the Jets, they got their first win of the season against the um, Rams. That moved them into the second draft spot, as if the um, Jaguars lose out. I mean, they lose the rest their last two games or whatever, um, which it looks like they're going to do against the Bears. Um, they will get the first overall draft pick, being able to select whoever they want, who will probably be Trevor Lawrence, um, to try and lead their team. And the Steelers, after starting off 11-0, and have gotten three straight losses, starting off with Washington. Um, and that's, that's tough for the Steelers. They were looking so good, so promising. They were looking like they were going to win it all. Who knows if they'd ever lose, but... Um, they couldn't get that done. And finally, I want to talk about the Browns. Um, in their game against the Jets, Baker Mayfield will be playing without his starting four wide receivers as they had a COVID outbreak. Um, maybe that could make um, it a little bit easier for the Jets to maybe try and pick up their second win of the season. Um, but for now, Baker Mayfield's top four receivers are out, including Jarvis Landry. Now, moving in to the NBA, yesterday we had some exciting games. The Hawks and the Grizzlies, two of the um, best young point guards. We had Trey Young and Ja Moran, um, and the Hawks get this one done 122-112. to 112. Then the Magic and the Wizards. The Wizards playing their second game with their newly acquired star, Russell Westbrook. They lose that game 130-120. Yesterday, um, the Rockets versus the Trailblazers. Yesterday, in the Rockets versus the Trailblazers game, in overtime, the Trailblazers get it done, one twenty-eight to one twenty-six. That was James Harden's first game back from an injury, and he put on a show. And of course, the season did start on Tuesday, the twenty-second, with the Warriors losing to the Nets, ninety-nine to one twenty-five, and the Clippers beating the Lakers, one sixteen to one o nine. On Wednesday, the Wizards started it off um, by losing 107 to 113. The Bucks and the Celtics played, and the Celtics um, win by one with the score 121 to 122. But that's about it for the NBA. Now moving into college basketball, um, we had Gonzaga continue its reign of terror, still undefeated, winning their last game 78 to 95. Iowa staying ranked high at number four, winning their last game 70 to 55. Wisconsin ranked nine, beats Nebraska 67 to 53. West Virginia ranked seven, loses to number three ranked Kansas 79 to 65. And on Friday, number four ranked Iowa loses to unranked Minnesota 95 to 102. And Wisconsin beats number 12 ranked Michigan State 85 to 76. And yesterday, number one ranked Gonzaga um, beats number 16 ranked Virginia 98 to 75. And Kentucky coach John Capillari was not happy with um, the Wildcats' sixth straight loss, starting out one and six to start the season after losing to Louisville. As a shot um, went in and out of the hoop, he said, "I quote: Losing stinks, and I want to hit myself in the mouth for putting together a schedule that our team could not win." Um, unfortunate for Kentucky as that was their first one in six start since 1911, but so is life in 2020. But that about wraps it up for this week's edition of the Round League podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Bye guys.